Welcome into the Toddy Corba Show. I'm Sam Murray, joined by head women's soccer coach, Toddy Corba. And coach, thanks for joining me. Thank you for having me. So let's recap a thrilling opening weekend. Two shutouts. Uh, start with a 2 nothing win over Methodist and then a, an exciting one nothing overtime victory versus Wisconsin Oshkosh. Talk about those two wins. I think, you know, to get the first game kind of under our belts, get the um, first game jitters out, we started some freshmen, certainly started some people in some different positions than they've been in. So, um, you know, I don't think it was really our best play against Methodist, um, but the important thing is we've, we finished some chances and were able to walk away with a win. Um, the next day against Oshkosh I thought was much more – and it's Stevenson soccer, the way we want to play, what we've been working on in training. Um, and I thought we did a really good job creating a lot of chances. Um, they really put a lot of numbers behind the ball. So um, it took us a while to kind of crack them down. But I thought just overall, you know, for an opening weekend, we, we got a lot of people in. Um, just a great team atmosphere and obviously coming away with two wins, which was important. So you talked about the freshmen. Uh, a lot of them getting their first caps but also scoring their first goals. Gabrielle Arters, one of the twins, and Marissa Inglisa both score. So just talk about the youth. Talk about that freshman class. It's, it's been – it's a great freshman class. Um, there's 16 of them, and um, Riley Lefevre is another one who is starting for us at center back, and she's just been growing. She was – I thought she was very, very good against Oshkosh. Uh, the Arters, um, both Allison and Gabby, and um, we've had just a bunch of people you know, coming in. Um, Melanie Parncut's another one that we've put in at forward, and there's just a lot of potential in that freshman class, and some of them are getting game time. Um, everybody's doing well in training, and I think, you know, whether it's later on this season or, you know, maybe next year for some of them, but we're expecting big things from that class. And then you also have talented seniors as well. Tiffany McKee and Nett was named the Mac Commonwealth Defensive Player of the Week with her two shutouts. She had nine saves in that win over Methodist. But then also defensively you have Sam, someone like Sam Hooker, who you guys then only allowed one shot on net in that second game. So just talk about them. Yeah, again, I think um, Brittany Solano is doing a great job in the back, uh, at center back for us. Sam again, had a great game against Oshkosh and, and really kind of held down the middle of the field. So it's been a really good mix of, I think, young people coming in, um, certainly some returners. And, and I think just, again, the returners have really done a great job bringing in this big freshman class and making them feel part of things and um, really getting them on board quickly, which has helped with team chemistry and, and our culture and stuff like that. But I think, um, you know, a great weekend for TIFF and then, um, you know, a lot of that also due to a, a good effort from our back line. Moving forward, you host Gettysburg tonight and then you hit the road. Uh, you're at St. Mary's on Sunday and that kind of starts a six-game road trip. Mm -hmm. So let's just talk about the two upcoming games you have this week. Mm -hmm. I think Gettysburg tonight is, I'm looking forward to it. Um, they're obviously a talented team. I think the games at Stevenson, you know, Stevenson-Gettysburg games have always been close. So I think it'll be a good test for us tonight to really see where we are. I know they've got a lot of, you know, they move the ball pretty well and they've got some quick forwards with a lot of pace up top. And I think it'll be a good challenge for us. Um, we'll see if this weather is an impact or not. But um, And then, yeah, headed to St. Mary's on Sunday. Again, it's um, always a close game. And I think that, you know, St. Mary's is coming off of, um, you know, a tough weekend, I think, where they had some close games. And um, so I think, again, we don't have a break in our schedule. Um, I don't think there's there's an easy team on there or someone that we can look past. So I think just, you know, game in and game out, we've got to focus one at a time and, and really just hope to bring our best effort that day. Well, we wish you the best of luck in both those games. And Congratulations for uh, surviving your first Toddy Corba show. Thank you very much. She's Toddy Corba. I'm Sam Murray, and you've been watching the Toddy Corba show.